This is amazing. Now we are going to see vector shift CSV chatbot. In this, we are going to create a chatbot like this, where you can ask a question like this. What is the price of Ford Focus 2018? And then click send. Then the chatbot is going to read the CSV, which you can see here, Ford Focus, the price is 14,000. And it got the information from that and it's responding to the user. So how you can create such a chatbot and publish it on your website. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about VectorShift CSV chatbot. In this, when the user is asking a question to the chatbot, it is going to use the information from CSV and then respond to the user accordingly. If the user asks any question other than the data available in the CSV, the chatbot is going to decide and it will use a knowledge base to retrieve relevant information and answer the question. So let's take an example, Ford company chatbot. So the user is asking a question, what is the price of Ford Focus? And the chatbot is going to read from CSV and respond. If the user is asking what is Ford as a company, then the chatbot is going to use the knowledge base and then respond accordingly. In this, we are going to see how to upload data in regards to CSV chatbot. The data could be your own CSV or even your own knowledge base, such as PDF, URL, etc. Next, we are setting up the pipeline, publishing the chatbot, and finally deploying on the website. So in Vectorship panel, the first step, we are going to upload data, such as the CSV file with pricing, then set up a knowledge base with four data. Next, we are going to create a pipeline, which looks like this. I'm going to break that down for you and finally publish it on your website like this. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Vectorshift for sponsoring this video. So as you probably know, Vectorshift is no code AI automation platform where you are able to build pipelines, automate the whole workflow, integrate this with multiple tools and finally publish it on your website. I've already covered basics in regards to Vectorshift, which I will link that in the description below. You can get started for free, then upgrade if you want to. Use Mervin Prison as coupon code to get 20% off. Now, first step, we are going to upload data. So in your dashboard, go to storage. First in the files section, you can click new, upload file and choose the CSV to upload. I've uploaded fordprices.csv file. Next, go to knowledge basis. There you can click new, create a knowledge base. I'm going to name it as my fort. You can go to advanced settings if you want to change the chunk size and the embedding model which you want to use. I'm going to use text embedding for now and click confirm. You can leave it to default. It should still work. Now, after coming inside the knowledge base, click add document. I'm going to use a URL. So I'm going to add this Wikipedia page about Ford company as a knowledge base. So I've copied the URL and I'm adding that here. You can even upload your own file such as PDF file and many other type of file and click add. Now in this case, I've added URL. So now it started embedding. Now you can see totally 160 chunks of data taken from the Wikipedia article. So what happened here? We uploaded data. That is a URL. Then it got divided into chunks. In our case is 116 chunks and then it got converted to embeddings and it got stored in the database. So vector shift does all the things in the background. Now, next step, we are going to create a pipeline and make the user ask a question to the chatbot. So coming to our dashboard, we are going to the pipeline section. You can create a new pipeline from scratch or from template. For now, I've already created this pipeline, which I'm going to explain to you. So in simple terms, this is exactly how it's going to look like, but let's go into more detail. So first there's an input field where the user is asking a question. Then that question is sent to the chatbot or the large language model. In this case, we are using GPT 3.5 turbo. You can even choose any other model of your choice. And we got various other large language model here. Next, we are providing the information here. You are an expert classification agent for Ford. Your job is to classify whether the question is about pricing or about general information. So the chatbot is going to decide if the question is about pricing or about Ford company. So if it is about pricing, then it need to go to the CSV. 
So instead of directly going to the CSV, we are doing another request to the large language model. So this is used to convert a normal instruction to a SQL instruction. Your job is to convert a question into a specific format. The table has three columns, model, year, and price. So the CSV which we uploaded contains model, year, and price. So we are telling the large language model, it contains model, year, and price column. So based on the question, the large language model can create a SQL query and run that against the CSV query loader. This is a Postgres database. So as soon as you upload a file or choose a file, which is fordprices.csv, this will get converted and loaded in the Postgres SQL database. Then based on the SQL query, the output got generated after running the query. And finally, it is merged and sent to the output. That's it. So that is when the user asks a question about pricing. But what if the user is asking about company Ford? Then it is going to a different route, similar to the one which I've shown above. But in this case, we are loading the data from a knowledge base. So that is my Ford data. That is a URL Wikipedia, which we have uploaded, which contains 116 chunks. Next, that information is again passed to the large language model to generate a response. In this, we are providing three different things. One is the question. Next is the context from the knowledge reader. And third, the chat memory, which contains the history of the previous chat. So question, context are the key things which we are passing here. Then the large language model is generating the response based on the information provided. And finally, it's sent to the merge and printed as output. That's it. So in simple terms, we are using a large language model at each of these nodes to process the request. This large language model will check if it needs to go through this path or this path. Then the large language model present in CSV and in the knowledge base will extract the data and finally send the output to the user. Now we've got all the pipeline ready. We are going to test it by clicking the play button at the top. Here I'm going to ask a question. What is the price of Ford Focus 2018 model? And click run. And here is the answer. The price of a car model with Focus and year 2018 is $14,000. That is correct, which you can see from this table. If you get any errors in this area, make sure you go to the upload file section and then re-upload the file directly from here. Now we are ready to deploy. So let's click at the top, deploy changes and pipeline deployed. Next, we are going to click the deploy as, as chatbot and provide the relevant information, such as the name and the description. Then click save. You can modify the functionality as per your requirement. And finally, you can export. You can click open chatbot and it will be opened as an interface. You can even ask questions directly from here. What is the price of Ford Focus 2018? And you will get a response like this. Similarly, to publish this on website, just copy this embed code. In my case, I'm going to use my WordPress website, go to appearance and editor. There I'm going to click templates and then page with sidebar and click footer, then add the embedding code there. Next save and going to view the page. Now I can see the chatbot on my right hand side. I can ask a question directly here. What is the price of Ford Focus 2018? And you got the response here. This is exciting. Now you are able to create a chatbot and publish it on your website with your CSV data like this. You can even integrate that with multiple different data source providers such as Airtable, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Sheets, and much more. This will take your application to the next level. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.